The beer of the today is a limited edition Innocent Gun that was in a box and kind of expensive. It better be good. What? Be going down, people of the world. Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Fired Oak Scotch Ale by Innocent Gun. Oh yeah, it's it's in a box. I, I haven't actually opened it yet to see what it looks like at all, so let's let's do that together. It's got a Innocent Gun has cool bottle caps. There you go. See that right off the hop. And what do we have here? That is a cool looking label. All their labels look basically the same, just kind of different colors. And I like this color. Yeah, this is a, a rich golden beer with an intense oak flavor at its heart. And it's 7%, so... It's not super dark like that horrifying whiskey finish beer I had on St. Patrick's Day. This one could be good. Let's crack her open. A little bit of smokiness on the opening there, I would assume. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, doesn't look terrifying at all. Pour it right down the middle, see how much head we get there. It didn't really develop much head at all. Looks nice though. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going out to those of you who watch my videos. The Beard loves you all so very, very, very much. This looks pretty nice. I don't know about that aroma. I can't really describe it. It might be the scotch that I'm getting out of that. I'm not a fan of scotch, so... Kind of might be along the whiskey stuff, although this isn't super dark. I, I, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. That, what does it say? A rich oak flavor at its heart? Yeah, very much so. A little bit of the scotchy flavor off the start, but not enough to make it bad for my palate. This is, this is okay. It's pretty tasty, actually. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Mm, yeah. The initial flavor isn't fantastic, but once it transitions into the other flavors that are there, it's just amazing. It's a really, really complex beer, I guess you could say. There are different things written on both of these. So uh, let's read the bottle first. This ale was created to celebrate oak maturation. Using a combination of lightly toasted oak and a unique batch of super heavily toasted heartwood American oak, which was taken to the point of catching fire. Drawing on the flavors and aromas of this intense charring process, this beer is packed with notes of coffee, spices, vanilla, caramel, and roasted wood. We have ingredients here. Strong beer. Contains wheat, barley malt. That's, that's all it has, apparently. Weird. Coffee, spices, vanilla, caramel. I got the roasted wood and the maltiness, but... Caramel, vanilla, spices. Not so much getting the coffee flavor, though. And that's okay with me. Innocent Gun was born from the discovery that the marriage of beer and oak can create something quite remarkable. This ale was created as a celebration of just that. The key to imparting great depth of flavor lies in finding the perfect match. We created a light scotch ale and used a combination of lightly toasted oak and a unique batch of super heavily... Yeah, then it caught fire. Drawing... The beginning is different. The rest says the exact same thing as it on the bottle. 
Color, golden, smell, intense oak aroma, vanilla, coffee, and butterscotch. No, that it doesn't smell good to me. I have to be honest about that. Taste, balance ale with caramel and toffee notes, giving way to some bitterness and creamy mouthfeel. Finish lingering on the palate with some warming notes. What to have it with? Mushroom risotto, meatloaf, plowman's lunch, blue cheese, and walnut cake. Not a fan of any of those foods. So, uh, this is being paired with air. Aside from the smell and the... There's a tiny bit of not greatness right off the hop, but as soon as that doesn't last long at all. So as soon as that's gone, it's quite, quite tasty. A little bit of weirdness, and then it fades and just transitions into like the lingering flavors are fantastic. It's a, it's a good beer. For someone who's got a more refined palate than me and can actually pick up on all these things, you'd probably really, really enjoy this beer. Today being October 20th, on this date in 1873, Yale, Princeton, Columbia, and Rutgers Universities came together to draft the first Code of American Football Rules. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it was really around before. I don't know when football, like the first game, was actually played, but it. I imagine it was before then, and then they finally came together to ratify and make all the rules the same throughout the sport kind of thing. In 1944, liquefied natural gas leaked from storage tanks in Cleveland and then exploded, resulting in a fire that leveled 30 blocks and killed 130 people. Yeah, that would be terrible. And it's, it's weird that that happened, like, in America. I'm, I'm sure when it happened... Because it was 1944, the first thought that was in people's heads was probably sabotage from the Nazis. Maybe it was. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said before, the really complex flavor in this beer. Like, it's just... It's really well done. Innocent Gun, even though I haven't enjoyed all of their beers, I actually have another one. It's, remember the whiskey finish from St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, I have a rum finish in the fridge. I like spiced rum, hence, remember, remember Kraken back in the day? <laughs> uh, I haven't had any of that in a long time, actually. It's just been beer. I've, I've, I've been converted fully. I really wish I could fully appreciate this beer. Like, I can appreciate it, but not to the extent that I'd like to. I'd like to be able to be like, it has this smell, and this smell, and this smell, and it has this taste, and this taste, and this taste, and be all accurate, but I don't know. Maybe someday I'll take a course or something, but I kind of like learning as I go. It's fun. On this date in 1961, the Soviet Union performed the first armed test of a submarine-launched ballistic missile. And in the process, probably freaked the hell out of a whole lot of other countries. Them being the first ones to have that capability. They could just go underwater in their submarine all undetected, pop up all discreetly on the coast of wherever, launch a few missiles, and then sink down and go away. Yeah, that would have been a scary thought. 1961? That was... The Cold War was going on then, I think, so... Yeah. Probably quite scary for a few people. This this could be a scary beer for some people as well. Like, if I had had this... At the beginning of the year? No. No. I would not have been a fan at all. Not a big fan right now, but I'm a fan. You know. It's like if, if an innocent gun game was playing, whatever, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd watch it. If that makes any sense. Really not a beer 
I think I could even attempt to chug. Like that it says, creamy mouthfeel. And it is. It's not really filling or heavy, but it has a full feel in the mouth, if that makes sense at all. In 1973, on this date in the past, the Sydney Opera House opened. Basically the most iconic image of Australia. Unless, like, you count a kangaroo or something. A boomerang, maybe? I don't know. There are other things, but, like, that's the, the famous image that I'm sure everyone knows of. Finally, on this date in the past, in 1977, rock band Leonard Skinner's plane crashed. I'm not a huge fan of them, but they've got some good songs. You know, like classic rock type stuff. Not a huge classic rock fan, but I can appreciate it. It's pretty sad. Here's to you, Leonard Skinner. Smooth. Nice, nice carbonation as well. I think I mentioned that before. Just... I almost wish I had another bottle because it's one of those beers that the more I'm drinking of it, the more it's kind of coming to life and it, it's, it's good. Drink number is the last. Overall, pretty enjoyable bottle of beer. So, Innocent Gun. Your fired oak scotch ale, which you actually lit oak on fire. That's fair enough. Um, did I see? I, I did. There's a best before date, and then some kind of a date code under that. So it could be dated better, but you have ingredients, kinda, and the date, kinda. So I'm not gonna fault you for it. You know, it was good beer. Overall rating. Seven and a half. Like I said, a lot of flavors in there that I'm just not able to really appreciate yet. Give me more time and maybe in the future? And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Pretty close to the beginning of the week of the pumpkin!